Kara Wedby, your favorite Pesca Vitty Vegan, coming to you for our Meatless Monday recipe. Today's recipe is from the All Recipes Dinner Spinner app, the Broccoli Cranberry Salad. Nummy, nummy. I had some dried cranberries left over from Thanksgiving, so I wanted to use them. So that's how we're going to do it. Okay, so I already have some red quinoa that I made um, in the Instapot. I found a recipe online where you can make quinoa in the Instapot in one minute. So you put it on high pressure, put a cup of quinoa in there, rinsed, and a cup of liquid. I did um, veggie stock. And then you set it on one minute high pressure, and then you let it naturally release for 12 minutes. And then once it says L12 on there, you hit the little uh, seal and turn it to vent and let it vent. And mine didn't have to vent that much at all. And it was done and perfect. So this is actually not in this recipe, <laughs> the quinoa. By the way, I got this one from Kroger. It's organic red quinoa. And um, I think it's Kroger. Yeah, simple truth, I think that's theirs. So anyway, I got it from there, and I decided to beef up this recipe since it's going to be our dinner tonight. So I wanted a little bit more than just the broccoli. So that's why I added quinoa. Now, this recipe calls for six strips of bacon. So where do I get my bacon from? My Dia Mac and Cheese bacon cheddar style box. So I used two of these and got the bacon bits. And of course, if you were using real bacon, then you would like cook it on the stove till it's crumbly. But these are my vegan bacon bits. So we're gonna put this in here into our recipe, but it calls for six strips of bacon. So I'm gonna use two of these pouches here. Baked bacon, all right. So we've got that and then now we're going to do Okay, so the dressing I pre-bake because in the recipe it says that you cook the bacon and then you make the dressing and put it in the fridge until you're ready to mix it all together. So, this has been in the fridge, it was pre-made. And what it is, is a cup of mayonnaise. Nummy, nummy. So the mayonnaise we used is our vegan, veganese from Follow Your Heart. I use the soy free because I'm allergic to soy. So we've got our soy free mayonnaise. Then it also, a cup of that. Then it called for a fourth of a cup white sugar. I use this I get from Walmart. It's something I can't pronounce. It's stevia blend. Um, and it's one cup of this equals two cups of sugar. So you have to half it. So it says a fourth of a cup white sugar. I used an eighth of a cup. Um, then also the last part of the dressing is vinegar. Now it calls for two tablespoons red wine vinegar, but I didn't have that, so I went with apple cider. So two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar is also in this. Then I mixed it together, it said whisk it together, and then put it in the fridge until it's time to put it in the recipe, which that time has come. Actually, I wanna wait until I put the broccoli in, so let's wait. Um, then it says three heads broccoli finely chopped. So I've got my organic broccoli here in the steamable bag. So I've already steamed two bags. I didn't know how much three heads was, so <laughs> I went with two bags. I have not chopped it yet. You know how I like to read the reviews. In the bottom it said, don't chop it, leave it whole or at least a lot of the people didn't. But what I'm gonna do is put it in here whole and then use my little Pampered Chef, Chef hand chopper thing and just chop it up a little bit while it's in here. Since it's already steamed, that shouldn't be too hard. We'll see. Famous last words, right? Make sure I got all the florets out of there. Drop one, I don't know if dogs can have that, so. Picking that up off the floor, it's a lot of, like, dogs cannot have weird things, so. All right, so I've got my broccoli in here, and now I'm gonna chop it up a little bit. My little hand chopper. This is great to get out of dressing. Very therapeutic. Oh, it's working wonderfully inside the little, my Tupperware here. 
I think it's not Tupperware, Tupperware brand, but you know what I'm saying, my plasticware. Ah, oh, that looks marvelous. A little bit more. Good, excellent, excellent. All right, so I've got that chopped up in here. Lovely. And then it says half a cup chopped red onion. Well, I didn't have red onion, but you know how I love to use my frozen chopped onion. So, got that, and I'm just gonna dump it in here. It says half a cup. So that's what that is. Then it says a third of a cup salted sunflower kernels. I get these at Natural Grocer in the bulk section. It's sunflower seeds that are roasted, salted, and organic. I don't know if you can see this, but it says RS and they're organic, so it's already been roasted and salted. But according to the app, which you know I love to read the reviews, they said instead of doing a third of a cup of the uh, sunflower seeds, they did a whole cup. And then the, net, the last ingredient, besides the dressing, is a fourth of a cup of dried cranberries, which we have our cranberries left over from Thanksgiving. Um, they said you could do a cup of dried cranberries. So we're gonna do a cup each of salted roasted sunflower seeds and dried cranberries. But first, I'm gonna put the dressing that I pre-made in there. and mix it together because the dressing, the liquid of the dressing, anything that's crunchy, if you want it to stay crunchy, you wanna put that in last and eat like right before you eat it. So we're getting all of our dressing in here. Got my little spatula, my droid spatula. Just in case you were wondering, my George spatula and my Stormtrooper Instapot came from the Star Wars line at Williams Sonoma. Got it on sale, I think, last year during Black Friday online. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. Ooh, nummy. That's the perfect amount of dressing, so I must have gotten my guess right on, bro on the three heads of broccoli. <laughs> And even with the quinoa, it's totally covering it. No problem. No problem. And I tasted the dressing before I put it in the fridge, and it's really good. So that's that sugar's necessary because you've got the tang of the vinegar, and then you've got, and, you know, mayonnaise, the especially vegan mayonnaise, has a little bit of a tang to it, too. Um, so it's nice to have the balance of the sugar there, the sweet. Plus, you're going to have cranberries and stuff in here and then salted um, sunflower seeds, so lots of different textures and flavors. All right, so we've mixed that up. And then I'm gonna put in a cup of the dried cranberries. I only had a half a cup measure because my other ones are in the dishwasher, so two of these. Cup, I still have some left. I have to use them in something else, maybe oatmeal. Oh, yeah. Mix that up. Oh, it's so pretty. So colorful. And it smells excellent. Another time I wish I had smell a vision for you. Now I like to eat this kind of stuff cold, and it says to put it in the fridge and then you know until you're ready to serve it. But one of my kids does not like to eat anything cold, <laughs> and so I give her the option to heat it up. So, I mean, if you wanted to heat it up, I don't think any of this is it's gonna hurt, especially since it's all plant-based, so. I see a, a couple of big chunks of broccoli, so I'm just kind of chopping out of that I stir. Ta-da! So pretty. Okay, and then we need our cup of roasted salted sunflower kernels. Now, I'm not gonna put those in there yet because we're not ready to eat it. So I'm gonna put these in right before I serve it. So just so you know, you still need a cup of those. So this is what it's gonna be. And 
And then when I serve it, um, I'll put the sunflower kernels and stir them up. So that's it. It is the broccoli cranberry salad from the All Recipes Dinner Spinner app, but made meatless for Meatless Monday. Hope you guys give it a try.